I wanted to remain true to myself. There's always adaptation you do. I go to Peru, from Peru to US, I got to do some adaptation the same way I, I expect Americans to adapt to Peru up to a point, right? In the end though, what is your true north? What is a part of you that you're not going to give up or sacrifice? Because that would be a surrender of to assimilation, a surrender of giving up your identity. And so, and I came to really see uh, that there was a place for someone like me in a place like a, a corporation. So we were one of the um, earlier Puerto Rican families that was actually photographed in Life magazine of what does it mean to have this poster of Puerto Ricans. And, you know, my generation absolutely embraces the photo because we're like, wow, this is our origin story for here. Mm -hmm. And so for us, we have enormous pride. My grandmother was able to see the pride and how much change has happened since that photo. For it was very clear for Puerto Ricanos that coming here, you were, think of this narrative, you were expected to be labor, but that didn't mean you were gonna be integrated or you were going to be respected. It was also at the same time that half of Puerto Ricans in the public school system were in special ed, and that was because of language, not behavioral or cognitive issues. And one that I think speaks to so many people who come here need to understand that there's a lot expected of them, but they're also changing a place for the better at the same time too. So let's leave it there. Y si los muertos aman, 